Reverse Lutenbacher syndrome is the term used to describe right to left intraatrial shunt in the presence of severe tricuspid stenosis. Burke and May et al. documented the combination of the lesions in a patient who presented with features of platypnea orthodeoxia syndrome. That 43-year-old lady had bioprosthetic tricuspid wall stenosis. Right to left shunt occurred across a patent foramen ovale. She also suffered from stroke due to paradoxical embolism across the PFO. Successful surgical treatment with replacement of the stenotic bioprosthetic wall with a new one and closure of the patent foramen ovale was achieved. In another report, ESOP MR and Associates described a patient who had undergone balloon dilatation of rheumatic mitral and aortic stenosis and later developed cyanosis and clubbing due to right to left shunt across the septal puncture defect. This was due to the development of severe tricuspid stenosis which occurred over a 4 year period. This case was dealt with by balloon dilatation of the stenosis tricuspid wall which led to re-establishment of left to right shunt across the atrial septal defect. Thus, reverse Lutenbacher syndrome was converted back to Lutenbacher syndrome. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.